Now I feel inadequate. <laughs> now I'm going to show you 12 Days of Christmas now that I feel sad. See us. Time to sing the 12 Days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, true achievements told me. Unlock a cartridge or a CD. Which was unlock one achievement from a game with the words remake, remaster, or definitive in this title. They purposely did it so that way they you couldn't just do it in Halo Master Chief Collection. But they also, you know, have that because it's a joke every year. Like the true achievement writers are always just like, you're always just going to find a way to do it in Halo. But then they purposely wrote this so that way you couldn't get it in Halo. And then they put the Halo thing there just to taunt you. It's kind of a little, kind of a little thing. Anyway, on the second day of Christmas, true achievements told me to get two loud unlocks. Which was earn two achievements with two letters in a row that are all caps. Which is the one I mentioned where I went to, uh, where I went to Outlast in. On the third day of Christmas, true achievements told me to get three small dots. That's earn three achievements that contain an ellipsis. Which, Grim Fandango was amazing for him. What kind of got me to start the game. And on the fourth day of Christmas, true achievements told me four doubled up, which is earn four achievements that contain double letters, double O, double B, etc. Which again, Grim Fandango was great for. On the fifth day of Christmas, true achievements told me five on the go, which is earned five achievements from games tagged with Xbox Cloud Gaming, which I did all in Halo, just to spite the editors, or not the editors, the contest creators. On the sixth day of Christmas, true achievements told me six cookies put down, that is spell cookie using the first character of achievements. So yeah. Gears of War, I got the Collector Achievement, Super Street Fighter 4, Turbo Champion, whatever the hell edition it is. <laughs> I got Oh My Car, Max Payne, I did Out the Window, K, I did in Halo, with, I think it was a par score achievement, yeah, King of Crows, Just Cause 3, I did I Should Buy a Boat, which was the first mission of the, of the DLC, the boat DLC. And L.A. Noir, I was completing that at the time anyway, so I just did the E in that, which was the final achievement in the Naked City DLC. On the seventh day of Christmas, true achievements told me, find seven retro remnants, which is earn achievements tagged with the shoot 'em up or beat 'em up genres. This was where I did the Drunken Fist game. <laughs> On the eighth day of Christmas, true achievements told me eight milking levels, which there was an exploit in the Gravity Chase game where you could just keep restarting once you leveled up to level two and it would just keep bumping you up on levels, which was why, which was the best way to get this one because normally leveling up in a game like getting an achievement that is tagged level up is very time consuming. This was the easiest way to get it. On the ninth day of Christmas, true achievements told me to get nine in a series, which has earned nine achievements from games that are part of a series. Fun fact that I did not know, there is a second one of these Drunken Fist games, so it counts as a series. <laughs> so that's where I got those nine achievements. On the tenth day of Christmas, true achievements told me to get ten A achievements, which has earned 10 achievements to start with the letter A. So did a little bit in Gravity Chase. And then after that, just got all the area achievements in, uh, that's what I'm looking for. What the hell was that game? From Heaven to Earth? Yeah, that's what it was. On the 11th day of Christmas, true achievements told me to get 11 2020s that has earned 11 achievements from ga games released since uh, January 1st, 2020. So once again, I just kept playing, uh, I just kept playing from heaven to earth. And then on the 12th day of Christmas, true achievements told me 12 hanging letters, or 12 letters hanging. Complete a 12 letter hangman challenge using the first character of achievements. So here's something I found out after I started this. They really meant first character 
So my problem was I was going to keep doing Grim Fandango, but each of the achievements in that, except the gear achievements and a couple other miscellaneous achievements, they all have exclamation marks as the first character. So I was just hoping to just basically keep playing through that, but no, instead I had to pivot around a lot and I had to basically, thankfully I hadn't completed games like, you know, Gravity Chase, but yeah, I had to dip into L.A. Noir a little bit more than I was hoping for. And yeah, I had to do a bunch of Halo stuff. But I mean, I'm never going to say no to Halo stuff. And I got a couple in Drunken Fist, and I got, you know, a couple incorrect guesses, which I think came from, like, these sets of games. But yeah, that is all the challenges.